Good morning, church family. I'm Paul Eiler with my family, uh, a few of my family members. We have Daniel and my daughter, Aaliyah. And we wanted to kind of bring you a virtual children's church for this Sunday. Uh, we're covering ages kinder through sixth grade. This week, we're going to look at Lesson 23, Jesus Endures the Cross. Our focus passage is Mark 15, 16 through 47. And our central truth this week is that Jesus died to save sinners. Please take a moment to open in prayer. Pause the video as necessary. So, before we begin reading the passage, let's review what has happened in the week leading up to Jesus' death. On Sunday, he enters triumphantly into Jerusalem, met with a crowd of people who expect Jesus to be the Messiah, who will set them free from Roman rule. On Monday, he weeps over Jerusalem, knowing that most of Israel will reject him, as had been prophesied. He then cleanses the temple for the second time in his ministry. On Tuesday and Wednesday, he continues preaching while betrayal is being planned by Judas and the Sanhedrin. On Thursday, Jesus and his disciples celebrate the Passover meal, where he instructs them on how to remember him through the Lord's Supper. Then after praying in agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, he is arrested by the Sanhedrin. Finally on Friday, Jesus suffers through six different trials where he is beaten and mocked. Let us now read through our passage beginning in Mark chapter 15, verse 16. And the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters. And they called together the whole battalion. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! And they were striking his head with a reed, and spitting on him, and kneeling down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. Verse 21. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them, to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes mocked him to one another, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders, hearing it, said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. And when the centurion, who stood facing him, saw that in, his, in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was a son of God. Verse 40. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, the younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. When he was in Galilee, they followed him and ministered to him, and there were also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. 
And when evening had come, since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised to hear that he should have already died. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the corpse to Joseph. And Joseph bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud and laid him in a tomb that had been cut out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where he was laid. For our lesson today, we're going to focus on three parts of this passage. The first part will be Jesus was mocked in his crucifixion, verses 16 through 32. For the second one, Jesus was mocked in his abandonment, verses 33 through 36. In the last part, Jesus was honored in his death, and that's verses 37 through 47. What does it mean to mock someone? To mock means to make fun of someone in order to hurt them. Have you ever been mocked? And how did you respond? Or worse, have you ever mocked anyone? What did all the mockery prove about Jesus, and how is this reflected in Isaiah 53.3? Isaiah 53, 3 says, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. How did Jesus respond to all the hatred and cruelty, even though he was innocent? Jesus did not defend or save himself so that he could save those who call on his name. As a family, read all of Isaiah chapter 53 and compare the details of this prophecy with the details we read in Mark. What was the act of crucifixion and what kind of people was it for? Crucifixion was a very cruel physical punishment designed to make someone die slowly and painfully. It was for criminals. Recall what unusual events occurred when Jesus died. Finally, how did Joseph of Arimathea and the faithful women honor Jesus? To summarize our lesson today, we discovered that Jesus was cruelly mocked during his crucifixion. He was the true King and Son of God, and he was suffering the worst punishment for the sake of sinners. Yet they just laughed at him. Worst of all, God the Father poured out his wrath on Jesus, counting him as a sinner in the place of sinners. But in the end, there were still a few who honored Jesus, who saw that he really was the Son of God. Because of his death, we have hope. We are no different than the cruel people who laughed at him. But because he finished his mission, we can be forgiven. All that is required is that we respond in true faith and repentance. <laughs>